In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to rotate an object on the screen using a keyframe. It's surprisingly easy. Let me show you how simple it is. We have on the screen in video track number one a gradient background. We're going to take an object and put it on video track two and rotate it. So I clicked on my assets box and I'm going to take this baseball and drop it on video track number two. When I move my current time indicator, I see I have my baseball. With that highlighted, I'm going to click on it in the preview screen. We'll make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to drag it and move it out to the upper right quadrant of the screen. My objective here is to make it look like it's spinning and moving from the upper right to the lower left. I do that with keyframes. With my baseball highlighted, I click on the action bar on the right and I'm going to go into my effects editor. That's the FX plus the pencil. And so we click there and then I'm going to click on the mini stopwatch to activate my keyframes. The screen gets about twice as wide and now I have keyframes. I have a current time indicator. I can move it by dragging it here or I can drag it below the preview window. So we're going to move it to the left and at the when we start this is going to be the location and it won't be rotating at all. So I, I click here on any of these small stopwatches to create a keyframe. So at this moment in time I want to set one for position. I really am not going to change the scale here but I also want to change, set one for rotation. So I'll set one here. And right now the position is here and it's not spinning at all. The rotation is zero, zero. Now I want to move ahead in time. I'll take my playhead and drag it over here. A uh, little over to about two seconds. And in two seconds I want the ball to be down in the lower left. And so I can move it by changing these numbers here by dragging with the mouse or I can simply click on the preview window and move it and drag it over here. I could actually drag it off the screen if I wanted it to. So I'll drag it halfway off about here. And so that's the position at this moment in time. That's what a keyframe controls. Adobe Premiere Elements will calculate the distance between these two and the time between these two and it will change every frame between this moment in time and this moment in time to give you the illusion of motion. Now we want to rotate it. So how do I do that? Well, with my current time indicator over here again, I'm going to change the rotation value. If I drag this to the right, it's clockwise. Left, it's counterclockwise. Well, here it makes sense to go counterclockwise. So I'll just drag it all the way to the left and it sets a keyframe. We're going to go ahead and close this and then we'll show you what it looks like when we actually try to play this. Okay, I've rendered it and here's what happens. It simply spins three times and moves down to the left. So it's a real nice simple effect of rotating an object. Now what if you want it to spin faster in that same period of time? We're going to go back, we'll click on it go back to our effects editor make sure we're highlighted it's very easy to switch to the wrong item and at this moment in time I want it to have have uh, have more rotations to it so instead of one at minus one X I'm going to go let's try a minus six uh, X so I have to edit this manually I can't move my slider over farther and so that's my new value at this point in time. So we're going ahead. We'll just preview it in this window here. And you'll see the difference if I go here. You notice how much faster it spins. So I can change the multiplier. The other thing I could do if I wanted to, to, to change the way it looks as it's moving on the screen is I can actually change the distance between these two, two uh, points here. We'll go back to our effects editor. Make sure we're on the baseball click on motion. Now if I tighten these up it will spin faster. If I make these two keyframes farther apart that gives me more time and uh, I can click here to get the actual location make sure they're the same here. 
uh, this will actually begin to slow it down because I have more seconds for it to do the same amount of work. And so if I go ahead and, and play this, let's get back to full screen. We'll go ahead and play. Oop, we need to start at the beginning. And now it was faster, but not quite as fast because I've given it more time. So I can make two kinds of adjustments when I'm doing this. We'll stop it again. Um, two kinds of adjustments. The first one is I can actually change the rotation speed from point A to point B. The second thing I can do is I can either tighten up or widen the distance between the keyframes to change the, the motion and the way it looks in that period of time. If I wanted to rotate the opposite direction, I could simply uh, click here and then move to my, uh, my second keyframe and then change it to the other way. And if I do this, we've reversed it, so it's kind of a underspin for the where the ball looks. We'll go back and we'll play this, and now it's rotating clockwise as it goes from upper right to lower left. But that's how simple it is to begin to add rotation to an object when you're using keyframes in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.